name is Adrian Nanchev, and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads. Now, the world we live in today, there is so much opportunity out there in the world. So, so much opportunity to create and build and dream and desire and achieve. Um, the world we live in now has got un unparalleled opportunity and access and technology and affordability and population and access and, 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 and <laughs> all sorts of other things. Infrastructure. And it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. I've seen some of the tech. It's on its way up. Um, in this world, because of the infrastructure we live in, the technology, having a 9 to 5 job, for example, is not necessarily a smart move. It's a good move. It's a financially safe move. It's okay. But to take life to the next level, you really want to have your money working for you. Because when you have your money working for you, it gives you, like sending your army out, your army of coins, and they bring back more coins, and it go back and forth exponentially, it frees up your time to do more and achieve more and create more in your life. As a side note, there's nothing inherently wrong with having a 9 to 5, for example. It, the main rules in life, in, every, in everything you do, be happy and competent. As long as you're happy to do it, and you're competent at it, then go ahead, do it to your heart's content. Do it. But when you want to create a life for yourself, doing something better and be known, for, be known for something, be what's called a key person of influence, then you want to change your strategy. You see, there's that saying that the rich get richer and the poor stay poor. It's because the two, the, the, the two people, the rich person and the poor person, they are playing the same game of life 24 hours in a day, feel hunger, feel cold, and the seasons and the weather and the continents still affect them, gravity and beyond. But the difference is they're playing by different rules. They're playing by different standards. One is more resourceful than the other. Well, they both could be equally resourceful, but one of them just doesn't ignite their resourcefulness. Therefore, they're lost before the race even begins. So that's how, the, among other things, that's how the rich get richer. As well as a thing called scaling, like scaling and compounding, but that's something else. So, in the world we live in, if you want to create and do amazing things in your life, have your money work for you because that money is capital. Money is like energy, that like 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 pull like pulling a bow back. It's it's momentum, it's energy that's waiting to be released and and and, and like allocated into certain assets and industries or sectors that will pay you returns that frees up your time. Because if you've got to worry about making money, exchanging time for hours, then then you're missing out on so much other things you could do with your life, on creating and compounding and achieving. Keep pushing and you can create a new life yourself. I have a principle called do the work once and get paid forever. This is a benchmark that I have in whatever I do, whenever I strive to create. A prime example, a few examples really. This video, I'll record it once, I'll put it out there in the world, I'll get paid forever. Not necessarily in money, but certainly in SEO or reputation and awareness. And that could lead to indirectly lead to other things. But at the same time, I'm writing a book got the book out there, create some content, I'll publish it, do all these things once, it's out there, I'm leveraging Amazon, they'll do all the fulfillment, the logistics, the payment, the shipping, everything like that, printing and beyond, and they'll pay me royalties, leverage. I'll own shares and stocks, I'll own the company, the company will do its thing, its functionality and all the rest, and then they'll pay me the share, the dividend, for, for what's called a dividend, what's a... Um, uh, for, for membership, for equity, equity ownership in, in the company, having a stake in the in the venture just being more resourceful. So if you want to be, you see, regret. Regret in life is the worst thing you can have. My generation, millennials, we're going to live to age 100. One in three of us are going to be age 100. So that means roughly there's a 33% chance I will live to age 100. And the chances are, some of us, maybe maybe a third of them as well, so there's like a, what, uh, what's that, this is, what, 13% uh, oh, chance roughly? 12 and a half, 12.25 12 chance, something like that, or 12.3 chance, I will live to the age 120 odd, 130 odd, because the way the technology is going in healthcare and nutrition and all the rest, it's only going to get higher and higher. And then you're going to ask yourself, 
With that 33% chance of living to age 100, it could be 80% chance live to age 80, something like that. And you've got to ask yourself, what kind of life would you, on your current trajectory, what kind of life will you have, age 100, looking back at today and thinking, I've done, I did that 40 years, 30 years, 50 years, 60 years, oh, 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 what, what a time, and, you know, and it's like, I, 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 you, you are not, uh, one of the regrets of the people that are on their deathbed, people that are dying, is that they spent too much time working. They don't regret saying, oh, I wish I'd gone to the office one more day, oh, I wish I'd done this, I wish I'd done that. They don't regret that. They regret doing too much work, among a few other things, but they regret that. So that's a massive indication, massive prerogative on our behalf to pay heed to their experience, pay heed to their, their regret, and say, oh, I need to minimise regret in my life. Uh, and th therefore, that's the idea of do the work once, get paid forever. That benchmark. If I'm not getting paid forever, then I don't, I don't particularly want to do it, you know? And there's a few other factors involved, time and, and headache-wise administration and other things like that, but it's like, that's a general rule of thumb. Do the work once, get paid forever, kind of. Right, rule of thumb, so to speak. So, when you have money working for you, you're not working for it. You're not going out and chasing it. It's coming to you automatically. Beautiful, pristine, leverage. Leverage is another thing that differentiates the rich from the poor in life. The, the, the poor don't use leverage. They see leverage as risky or dangerous. But the rich know that with the right approach to it and the appreciation towards it and the, and, and the rules and disciplines and principles, leverage is very, 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 very powerful to achieve what you want and create what you want and be known for what you want in one year than most people can do in 5, 10, 20, 30 years. So there's, there's, again, it's just different different ways of looking at the life, different rules, different strategies, and it's like it's like it's available to everyone. There are books, there are videos, there, there, there's stuff like this, free courses, like everything I know I learnt myself, you know, I have not got some special access or privy to anything, it's like oh, just learn it yourself, and then and then then there's an interesting thing. Uh, there's in, there's an American psychologist called um, I think I think his name Benjamin Bloom, and he's got this concept called uh, Bloom's taxonomy, and it's like a pyramid that talks about different um, different levels of knowledge, and like at the very bottom is like remembering, and then the one in the middle is like synthesizing, like bringing ideas together, or, or like remembering or learning things, and the one at the top is creativity, like. The highest form of learning, or the highest form of intelligence, is creativity, where I can take my intellectual property together, my the things I know, and, and package it in the world, and shit like this video, I can package it, or I can create concepts, uh, create ideas and principles, and, and share them with the world. I, 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 I yeah, so I create these concepts and principles, like that, do the work once, get paid forever kind of thing. The more... Discipline do you have your life as the more focused you are Generally the better the life can be You can go in the corner if you want We'll bring you three meals a day. We'll put a blanket over you You can sit in the corner. We won't disturb you. We won't talk to you But you'll be alive and you'll have a very long life as well But what kind of life will that be? And money does a lot of things to life. And money can change a lot of a lot, a lot of lives and a lot of fortunes with the right mindset. If this goes haywire, your emotions and your standards and all, yeah, it goes crazy wise, you've lost already. This is why most of the people that win the lottery go broke after a year or two. Because if they can't manage, say, £10,000 a month, there's no chance in hell you're going to manage a million. No chance. Similarly... The only power money has over you is the power you give it. Money is an inanimate object. It's paper, it's plastic, it's metal, it's digits on a screen. Those are inanimate objects. They have no power over you apart from the power you give them. And your attitude towards them will affect a lot of stuff in, in your life. Because in this world, capitalism, the markets, the economy, economics rules all. Uh, a thousand years ago, it would have been a completely different world and a completely different priority. You know, it would have been war and survival and, and agriculture and this cut on my elbow. I hope it doesn't fester, and I hope, I hope my eighth child survives. You no, know, no, 
uh, child survives at childbirth and, and um, infancy, those kind of things. And I hope the hope the hope the harvest season is 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 is, is very good towards this time, unlike last year. Complete different priorities. And if you're not staying up with today's priorities and the way the world is going and functioning, then the rich is going to get richer and the poor is going to stay poor. Because it's the same, same game of life, but they're playing by different rules. And it's down to you to uncover those rules, to acknowledge they exist, and apply them in your life. Because there's all there. Some of these books here, can ch get the, you read the right book, can change your life. There's one book here, this book right here, this one right here is the reason why I'm doing all this here. And this book just here is the reason why I started my first business. And the book right next to it changes mindset and approach to life. But ask me what those books are and I'll tell you. I'll tell you, then read them and apply those lessons in your life. Just be resourceful. Like I thought that, that taxonomy, Bloom's taxonomy. Here's all different principles and ideas and lessons. That a golden nugget could be could be delivered under your nose, but if you're not creative enough to analyse and and, and, and recognise it and apply it in your life, then you're missing out. Plainly, you're missing out. That's it. Simple as that. No ifs, no buts. You're missing out. In 10, 20 years, 30, 100 years from now, you'd be like, damn. Regret. Regret. Not what you want in life. You want to shoot right through it. They'll be like. I should have done this or I regret doing this or I regret spending or whatever but also at the same time remember be happy and competent so the question of the day, the question of the day to you is question of the day to you question of the day to you is are you happy with where your life is going right now are you happy where your life is going right now for me yes I am I'm anxious about one or two things and the logistics and semantics and, and the organizing and all the rest, but yes, I'm happy with the, where it's going. And I'm, I'm I'm nervous but excited. I'm more excited than nervous, but it's a hint of it there. It's a, little, a few smidgens of of, of uh, nervousness, but mostly excitement. But anyway, that's the question of the day. Um, are you happy with where your life is going? Comment below. I'm very curious. But also remember that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads. How cool is that?